Hello. How are you guys? This is Laurel, Laurel with the Dabbling Hook, and Massachusetts runs on Duncan. Well, coffee for most people. For me, it's usually a Dunkachino, which is coffee and hot chocolate mix. It is so good that you know it's not good for you, but it's delicious, and it's like a, right now, I used to drink it all the time, but it's now maybe a one or twice a year kind of treat that I get myself. But right now they have their refreshes, so pineapple mango, I believe. And it's done and all watered down. But anyway, how are you guys doing? Yes, I am in a heavy sweatshirt, no, sweater, cardigan duster thing. It's really long. It was a gift from the in-laws, I think. Anyway, because it is freaking cold, we went from like 90 degree weather to... We dropped down almost 50 degrees to, I think the lowest it got around here was 41. Can you believe that? Oh my God. Anyway, um, today is Monday, the 5th of June. Can you believe it's the 5th of June already? <sighs> anyway, it was a busy weekend, just like last week and last weekend was a busy one because uh, the early in the week, Minion 2 turned 18. Who? And he graduated yesterday. Woohoo! So, no more high schoolers. Any of that? So, it was a busy weekend. Uh, it was a good weekend. It was a very, very rainy and cold weekend. Um, rain started Friday, and it just, it, was, it wasn't heavy rain. It was just, it would rain for a little bit, like that misty, fine rain and stop and start and stop and it did that through the whole um graduation show i can't talk today graduation ceremony but uh everything turned out great family came over and we had cookout well cook in <laughs> we grilled and then had inside but it was a good day um so yeah i'm no more high schoolers it's just it's weird it's surreal but Time waits for no man, right? So, I was a little chilled. Now, uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of those. I've got a uh, sweatshirt. I've got a sweater, a cardigan, my regular cardigan that I wore yesterday that's still <laughs> sitting there. And then this that I wore today running errands. So, hey, welcome to any new subscribers. Uh, to you guys who are still here, for my long in and out, um, long span of time with, between videos, thank you for sticking by. <sighs> what are we doing? A um, few things. I, I took notes. Hang on. I can't speak today. It's like words just get partially. Oh, you're going to hear a lot of life noises because if I don't record this now, it won't get recorded because I'm in the office next week and just both minions are here father minion just got home from work and it's just there's just no good time so you will hear background noises and see him walking by anyway notes talked about the weather yes it was a busy month yes all the stuff that went along and i'm going to put a clip um of uh i did a drawing for two of the winners because the winner for the um bricks and hearts set never contacted me and neither did the winner for the hat the cow winner already has hers so um i will put in the clip and i will be right back Okay, so it was a silent clip because I wasn't because I was so far behind doing everything else. I just figured enough chit chat. I will just pick the winner. So Eileen Allen wins the set, and um, <laughs> Miss Marsha 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 wins uh, the hat. So you're gonna have to learn to knit, Miss Marsha Marsha Marsha. <laughs> um, but maybe somebody can knit it for you. But um, Email me all my contacts down below and let me know that you saw this and that you're claiming your prize. So if I don't hear from anyone this time, I'm not going I'm not going to do another drawing, so that'll be it. Alright. Okay. Where are we going? I've come to realization. 
starting projects makes me happy. That would account for the myriads of whips that I have around that are just <sighs> partially done, just started. I start it, put it down, and then I forget about it. It's just, there's just something about, you know, starting something, especially if it's something new that you go like, oh, that looks cool. I should try it. And then you try it and then something happens and you put it down and then it's just the next new shiny objects pop object pops up and then you start that and you know so i'm i'm claiming that i'm owning it that starting projects make me happy makes me happy and i'm gonna leave it at that i have project bags ones that i purchased ones that i've made and hopefully after the summer i'm going to start back making project bags because I have fabric that I need to use and I brought back my sewing machine to what did I use it to um, I sewed a lining in a bag that I made um, and it just got the juices flowing again and I, I, I just need I need something so that's that I like to start projects hello my name is Laurel Orel and I like to start projects sue me <laughs> okay um, I am looking at my um, seasonal yarny YouTube hop summer edition project over there. It's been done now for going on two weeks. I just haven't had a chance to record the video and send it to Kim. So Kim, if you're watching, hopefully I'll do it after this. And if not, I will, you will have it by the beginning of next week. If not by the end of this week, by the beginning of next week, you will have the video. Actually, I think it's due to you next week. So you'll have it shortly so yeah it's done obviously I can't show you but it's done it's very summery I think color wise anyway so that's that uh, the other thing I did I finally made ooh, I, you know what I didn't even try it on myself but before my hair was I think bigger so it wouldn't have sat right but I finally made the new new beanie by our one and only and I'm looking for my San Andreas fault which you can't really see but I'm just looking for the the fast enough edge so I can put it on the back by um Angie of loving every loving I cannot talk today loving loving every stitch by Ruby Baby so I'm gonna put this on for the first time to see how it fits my noggin I only showed it on the mannequin in the picture but here we go all right it's a little on the snug side because I have a big noggin, but hoo -hoo. look at me now. How oh, you like them apples? Huh? Color, texture, just visual, uh, visual texture. Yep. Have you done yours yet? Run. So I have a knit pattern that gives you all the color joy that you need and there you go crochet version so or not crochet version but a crochet pattern that gives you all the color texture so there you go oh and what did I use I used um oh it's big twist uh big twist anti pill but it's the it says it's a number six but I would categorize it more as a number five it's definitely not a six but that's what it that I used it as a five and I forget the color. It's like a taupey brown. And are you going to... There you go. And then this is the color I've been using in all my um, knitted patterns. This... No, one of the colors. This is um, Loops and Threads Echo Cozy Watercolors. I have a couple of different skeins. But this just gives you all the color love that you want. So, yeah. So, I didn't want to... What was I... I was going to use black, but the black that was closest to me was like a thinner number four, and I didn't want to do that because, you know, I'm all about the quick. So this worked out perfectly. The Echo Cozy, I think, is listed as a number... I think it's listed as number six, but it's definitely more of a number five. It's a roving style, and I would definitely think it's a number five instead of a six. But either way, all done. Okay. All right, so there's that trying to refer to my notes to stay on track and I apologize I know last time this happened to you it's it's gray it's ooh rabbit going from the neighbors into our yard there it is oh I wish I could have taken a picture they're such pets yeah they're cute but there's so many of them around now anyway I digress 
we have a lot of rabbits um what else so that's the new new oh i'm gonna put a couple pictures uh father minion and i well I, he walks usually on the weekends with the dog that's not here the dog's with the in-laws um but uh last weekend saturday and sunday we went walking and i decided to bring out the that was our warmer days yeah that we had um so i wore my crochet top that i made years ago over five years ago it was just i wanted something quick meshy so i wore that and then the next day i wore one of the um sun hats that i made so hopefully i would put the pictures in there just just so you can see crochet related uh extracurricular activities all right so there's that so when i go into the office next week i showed you guys hats baby hats oh i was saying that the lighting is going to go back and forth because you know it is what it is i showed you all the hats did i oh i just showed you two i think because i just done the crocheted one so and I put um, the lavender soap, I think it's by Yardley from the Dollar Tree. And I put it in with my yarns. I put it in with uh, my finished objects. And I put it in with the baby stuff. Hopefully, you know, obviously they'll wash it first. So, you know, the scent won't affect anybody. But last time I showed you these two, the Divine and my Nora, Nora's hat pattern. And I also ended up doing um, two knitted. So this is, I call it, there's no pattern for this, but I call it my um, random random pearls hat. And it's a basic beanie, but I can't really do a pattern on it because I throw in the pearls because they're random wherever. Um, that first row I throw it wherever, and then when I come back around um, and I start to do it again, I kind of gauge where I want it to be just so it looks semi-symmetric, but it doesn't have to be. So you see this one here is kind of hovering over this one here. It's a bit of a gap. Basically, I throw it in randomly. Sometimes not that much space in between them. Um, sometimes a little more. So yeah, I just made a little baby version. Or more of a, I know, probably when the baby's like a year old, that'll fit them. And then I'm like, ooh, I need something when the baby's little. So <laughs> I made that. And this is completely random. So I did this all in the purple i forget what the color name is this is um pound of love um lime brand and then i wanted to add some color in that one so i just did that no pattern off the cuff off the cuff yeah today's a i can't speak kind of day all right oh so this is what i throw in with my yarns with my finished objects i it's i like lavender i i don't like lavender like lotions and stuff i don't want that smell constant but to get a good whiff of this all the time yes this is what i throw in um i put it in my yarn cubbies all over the place so dollar tree all right the other thing i did for the baby um i hate doing blankets i don't hate doing blankets i don't like doing blankets they're not my favorite they take too long i'm instant gratification which is why i like bulky super bulky yarns um and when the um this is somebody at work and the surprise shower was going to be last month plans changed because of the the mom couldn't be there so i would have finished the blanket in like four or five days but once it got rescheduled my brain was like okay down so it's taken me about a month to finish it plus i am not a fan of doing filet crochet like or anything with a lot of chaining I don't like it for some reason i just i like to i'm a double double crochet once i start double crocheting i just i go and go so i don't typically like things with a lot of chains and spaces um one you have to concentrate too much because you need to make sure you line up things where they go all this to say i found a pattern because the picture the person sent me um had the color scheme as well as if there were butterflies in it so my brain just grabbed onto that and i found a free pattern and i don't remember i think it's called the butterfly blanket I don't know I will there'll be a link for it down, down below but I found a pattern it's free it's on Ravelry and that's down I think and I made her and hopefully I'm gonna hold it up nope I had it right the first time hopefully you'll be able to see 
Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. I'm looking at you guys through through it, but oh, hopefully you can see that. So yeah. Perfect little blanket size. It's just about the size that I can manage doing a blanket. So I was able to get that done. The colors, I honestly don't remember off, but it's uh, like an antique -y, light purple, purpley pink color, as well as this darker purple. And the border, I did not follow from the pattern because it's very frilly, wavy. I don't like those. Not my thing. Um, so it looks fancier than it is, but all it is is um, I went around the entire blanket with... Uh, did I do single crochets? I went around first with half double crochets all around in the same color so that it would, for me it always better, hides better, better hides, better disguises the, you know, slight irregularities in the sides because, you know, when you finish the top, it's that you have stitches for for those edges but on the sides you're going on the sides of the double crochets or what have you so there might be little blips but if you use the same color in that first row it hides it better all that to say i started doing a um, linen stitch or moss stitch the single crochet chain one single crochet um oops, got lipstick on my hand um so after i did the first row in double in half double crochet in the main color then i did the first row of linen stitch in the main color then um, another row in the accent color and then a third row in the main color um, it makes it look different and I think because I did I ended up with a with a shell stitch border and it just makes it look from far away it makes it look like what's those those Greek little whatever symbols it looks different than what it really is when you look at it right now you wouldn't see the linen stitch but if I had done more rows or rounds, you would have seen it, and I am sweating bullets. But anyway, all this to say, I did my own border on there. So, that's that. Blanket done. And I'd say really less than a week. I'm going to be right back as I go cool off, because I'm really hot. Okay, the other thing I'm doing. I have a big um, cloth bin. It's about two feet tall, foot and a half tall. It's it's a big size bin of all my scrap balls. You know, when you're done, you have that little balls left of, um, I've got all the super bulky from, from last um, craft fair season and then all manner of worsted. So it's just been in there and I'm like, I can't let it sit. I'm not gonna do another scrap blanket. I think I have like five or six of those. Um, so I went through and I pulled out all of the worsted, um, just acrylic or mostly acrylic. Anything that had like, I have some that has um, alpaca in there. I didn't include it in there, but mostly acrylic worsted or light worsted or what have you. And I'm going to make baskets. So I decided that I should use some of the blanket yarn because I got one because you know pound of love I got one of each color and I still had um, mo most of the accent color the darker purple left so I decided to make a basket for um, for the gift to put the gift in so I made that so the lightest color nope not the lightest color both the purples are in there Let's see if it'll focus. Okay. Uh, you have the purple. And in there somewhere is the lighter purple. Oh, it's more on the bottom. Because I ran out. And then I had some mainstay uh, taupey brown yarn I used on the bottom. Because I wanted the darker color on the bottom, obviously. Because it'll be sitting places. And then I had some... Is that it? I had some Brava from a couple of years ago I bought that I think I had a half a skein and then I'd still have a full skein that was just there. Do I have another one? Nope. 
so I decided to put that along with um, the darker purple in here um, is some um, what is that AC Moore yarn that I still have AC Moore yarns there the the stitch studio by Nicole I had that so I decided to use that and hold four four strands together I believe yep so and I used uh, as you can tell I latte it <laughs> I figured it's for a baby you know it would be nice to have that so yeah and I like the little flecks of pink from the Brava so there's that the blanket is gonna go in there like this and then I put the hats on top and the tissue paper and all and it goes in the back that's that for the baby gift. I will wrap that back later. So, speaking of blankets, oh, they got light. Um, I decided, like I said, I pulled out all the worsted um, and I've been making blankets, blankets, baskets. So right now I have three and four is the baby one and I have uh, half of one that I started working on last night. So, um, I'm also, pulling out skeins that I've had there for a while that I haven't used for anything so if it's a full skein I'm trying to use that as like the main um, color all the way through and then throwing in scraps and other um, other half skeins into it so the first one I made I made this one before the baby one actually um, was this and it had um, did I make it before the baby one yeah it had the mainstay in there some more of the purple. Nope, I made it after because I used the rest of the purple in here. And there was a lot of the AC Moore one still there. So I used that. And all of these other colors are just different scraps. And I wasn't going to um, control what color, just pick whatever, but I ended up doing that. I kind of stayed within the blues and the greens for this one. And I always try to put the darker colors on the bottom. So there's that number two and I'm making them so that they nest within um, this will be the biggest one and they all nest so this one I started with I still had more purple because I said I had most of the darker purple from the blanket and then um, I started pulling uh, there's some pinks in there it looks red but it's some pinks which is all different colors so this one there wasn't a whole lot of controlling it just more or less I whatever I pulled I I try to add into that and you never think they'll go together but they do especially when you do the scrappy project so give it a try for blankets for baskets anything that you're combining multiple strands of different um, yarns this one I, I did kind of stick to um, more of a color theme I had a skein of um, the Dollar Tree Just Active. Uh, the Just Active is a bit thicker than just a Just Just Worsted, I think, is the one from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I used the orange with other colors, mostly reds and stuff. Um, looks like I still had some of the purple from <laughs> the blanket yarn. Um, and I think this is where I finally ran out of the purple from... Um, the AC Moore one so but so this one is more red base anything that was red that had red in it um, I threw that in there so reds and purples and blues oh my so yeah so there's that and then this was a different um, this wasn't the just active this was just another orange from the premiere or maybe it was a just active but it wasn't from the full skein now this one has my bag of scraps this is a random ball of just basics that I had I have like I said partial skeins this is the just uh, just active this is um basic stitch as well and this is the one I'm doing it started I love the bottom of this so it started with I think it's a 
either a uh, what is it the premiere no the Bernat I think it's a Bernat value on the bottom after I finished the mainstay one I added that in there and I also held um, and I think I still have a little bit left uh, what do you call it shawl in a ball the color it just I, it doesn't this doesn't do it justice but I love love this so the shawl in a ball is that thin string that you see there and it just because it has different colors it just it makes it pop so nicely and then I have um, I think it's a premier yarn that Deb had given me it's a camo color and I had one that I had started using so I decided to use that so that's what the bottom is and I really love this is like a fall foresty vibe that it gives at the bottom and then I had some reds and then I started using the the just active and orange so it's giving like fall Halloween vibe right now and that's where I am um, added black to it so yeah that's that using an eight millimeter hook with four strands of yarn so I have including the baby one I have four completed and the three that are here all nest within and then I'm not sure if that one that orange one I think I did a little bigger so um, it may not nest in that but I may start maybe I'll make it a three nest basket so I'll start another one and I'm thinking I may make this one not that much taller so this is how tall these are so I might stop this one and make it a shallower basket and make them all this this height for a, a third set a second set right <sighs> that's that um I think I showed these but I'll put a picture of some when I was putting last week's stuff away after I recorded or the last time I found some pink leggy froggies and I didn't I don't know if I had shown them so I will put a picture up for that and let's see I think that is that we talked about the graduate I had to do his hair like this too so the afro his cap wouldn't fit so I had to do his hair in twists um, I did another Emmy Emmy Neko and let me go grab it okay so this pretty sure I didn't show this this ball of yarn I'm 90% sure it was from AC Moore I had used it in a project and it was double stranded with um, a one pound um, skein of I'm pretty sure it was Karen Simply Soft, but it was in a mill end bag, and I either got it from Joann's or AC Moore at the time. And I put them together, and I used it in something, didn't like it, and I ripped it out, and it was just sitting in a ball for the longest time. So I decided I need to, just like I'm getting rid of my scraps, I need to get rid of this. Um, so I decided, since I wanted to make another Emineko, I decided to use it for the Emineko. So this is not as big as the other one, but. Look at her. So, yeah, she's probably, oh, a little less than half the size of the, the last one. Um, obviously not as plushy because it's not the velvet yarn, but I did use um, velvet yarn um, mixed with a regular white yarn for um, the paws. So it has that fuzziness there but this is the yarn it's you can't even tell the um, the Karen simply soft one is pretty much it's a pink a reddish pink color so you can't tell and I use the chenille home for the nose Ta -da. and then because the the yarn was just there you go so loud um, I just needed to give her something a little extra so I just made a flower and I didn't want to sew it on so I decided I'll just make a headband so it's removable it can go on and off 
up yeah definitely smaller than the last one but I think this one is more baby size the other one was more toddler size oh yeah I'm an echo that's done other than that okay now I said that um, starting projects make me happy well buying yarn makes me and a lot of you guys happy and I've been staying away from the stores because I know myself I'll walk by there'll be a clearance and I'll be by the way the clearances are not what they used to be at all the clearance section is more like what prices used to be for regular yarns now that they call clearance so that helps me stay away but when you go somewhere where the yarns that you typically use are the weights and it's a clearance it's kind of hard to miss so um i did buy a few things that weren't on clearance because i changed my mind um about what i'm gonna do from my the the crochet along i'm doing with kim hey kim um crafty nomad i started my next project from the zumi Gurumi book in um a very light number four yarn but it's really doing a number on my hand because the yarn is kind of like slippery so i've changed my mind i said i was going to make it out of this but i may need more because those patterns tend to end up being pretty pretty sizable if you use big yarns um i ended up buying more even though i said i wasn't going to because i didn't want to but now i did i had coupon but it wasn't on sale um what did i buy okay yeah so we have a uh it's not a big but a discount store here usually like the they have you know the stores that have like the either close to expiration or expired stuff that is really still usable those types of stores it's called a job lot i think you guys some of you might have it around um they frequently get yarn and sometimes a lot um yeah so they have yarn i bought and everything i bought there i'm gonna use i bought this which is uh line brand off the hook now it's these loopy things but i saw somebody i don't know where bought this and instead of doing a loop the loops are just connected by a thin strand she just snipped and then you you have yarn so i use this to trim my um my two button cowls so couldn't pass up it was $5.99 $3.99 $5.99 which i think it normally goes for like 10 bucks or something or more the faux fur so i got one i'm gonna try snipping it to see how long it's gonna take because that's the added um work too even though it's loops you still have to spend the time cutting all the loops but it might be something to do see how that works out but the other things I bought were, they had um, Thick and Quick. So I just bought four of these at $3.99. I mean, they're $8.99, $9.99. Depends on Michael's or Joanne's, I think. Michael's is $8.99, Joanne's is $9.99 or something like that. Remember when it used to be $7.99. Walmart sells them for, it used to be $5.97. Now it's $6.49, I think. Um, but they had just this color in the thick and quick regular skein so I got four of those and then oh the color is poinsettia poinsettia so that'll be for holiday time and then they had the bonus bundle for $8.99 and you know those are what is it like 12 bucks so I got that two of that which is dusk that's a good color and then two of crushed violet this is a little brighter on screen uh still a little brighter but crushed violet so yeah two of those that was there and those will get used for um i use them for my victrina beanie i use them for um, fringe triangle cowl I use it for the bricks and uh, hearts 
So they will get used. Now I went to I went looking for yarn for um, it's probably gonna cut off on me real soon. I went looking for yarn for the June calendar cow project. The picture is um, Lisa of Happy to Hook and she's got the Star Trek theme, the sparkles and all that. I'm like, oh, I thought I had yarn for it, but I have one skein of one skein and some scrap. Hang on. Good thing I went. I thought it was a full skein. It's not. Obviously I used it for something. So I have this and I have a little ball of scrap of that. So that's the sparkle in Lisa's. And I went looking I knew this I'd gotten this at Joann's because their sparkle is more sparkly, more silvery. But um, Mainstay has sparkle yarn, but they don't have black. Um, Red Heart has a sparkle yarn, but their sparkle is more of a black sparkle. It's not as bright. It's not as bright. So this is this is Red Heart's. There you go. Versus, look at that. Joanne's. So Joanne has the silver silver sparkle or tinsel through it and um, the red heart is more subtle. It's a black one that shimmers. So I wasn't sure if I was going to go to Joanne. So I got this at Walmart. They only had two at my Walmart and I wasn't going to go to the other one. So I got the two and I don't know if it'll be enough because you know I'm making shawls. What is that? That's just... That is glue. Great. I didn't even notice that. But they only had two. I don't know if it'll be enough because, you know, the sparkle ones are always less yardage than the regular. But I got the two. And I went to the Michaels NAMI to see if they had any sparkle. They did not. But I needed... It has black, red, what looks like gold, and blue in Lisa's project in her picture. Couldn't find blue sparkle anywhere, so I just picked this up. I wanted something a little darker, but not as dark as the other navy that they had. So I ended up picking that up. Couldn't find blue sparkle anywhere. Um, so then I also bought this at Walmart. This is the mainstay. Um, I used this in my uh, Vira shawl last, that I showed last time. Um, so, oh, I just realized big twist changed their sparkle huh they did huh it's different this is oh they taped it the color is black on sparkle that's the sparkly sparkly one from big twist but their new sparkle is more like the mainstay one it's not as sparkly. Look at that. I just noticed. So, it's a good thing I went. Huh. I think. I was going to say they're the same yarn, but the Red Heart one is... No, maybe it's just wound differently. Come on. They're the same. So now I do have enough. This will have to be it. I got, I think they only had two of these left and I got both of them at Joann's. I also picked up this red. Where did I pick up this red? I think I picked this up at Walmart too. So that'll be the red going in to it. And this will be replacing the, what looked like gold in the picture, but I couldn't find gold sparkle. I don't think I've ever seen gold sparkle anywhere. So there's that. I think Red Heart used to have one, but I don't think I have any more. And while I was looking, oh wait, so I picked up the bright red at Walmart, but Joann's had a more subtle red sparkle, which I think goes better. So there'll be that instead. Um, the blue will not be sparkly and my lighting is off. There you go. But now I haven't been watching a whole lot of videos, haven't had time. So I'm sure somebody's shown this, but I don't remember seeing um, Karen Colorama Halo. I'm sure somebody's shown it, but it was so pretty. You can't blame me. Look at that. 
Look at that. It's like a gradient ombre. I always forget which is which. One is gradient is different colors. Ombre is the same color. Yes, ombre is the same color. Just different shades, different tones. But look at that. Oh my god. I'm not a pink person, but so it's giving me um, latte cakes ombre is what it's giving me or gradient look at that it feels like latte cakes it's not quite as fuzzy as latte cakes but that's what it's giving me like a latte cakes meets brushed meets oh it's so pretty i took a little clip at joanne's make sure i have to remember to put it in but figured these two will go perfectly start off with this and then end with this definitely gonna be a shawl oh, these were not on sale I had a uh, what did I use I had a 40% off coupon I hope they applied it I didn't even check what they applied it to I don't know if they applied to the most expensive one Colorama Halo. Yep, it was eleven ninety nine, and the forty percent off coupon got applied, so I got it for seven nineteen. Score. So those two. So Joanne's. If you have, you guys probably know, but coupons. Wow, it's at twenty four minutes, and it hasn't cut off on me. It's about to happen. Um, the coupons mainly are in the apps now, so you have just that one coupon. But if you um, search retailmenot.com I think they have an app too but I don't have the app you can get a coupon there usually and then on the Joann site they also listed they don't know I knew it was coming um, on their site they also had a coupon so I had three 40% off coupons was it three yeah that I ended up using um, as long as the coupons have different uh, barcode numbers you can use them all at Joann so score at michael's i think you have to do individual transactions to get multiple coupons but at joann's you have all the coupons different coupon codes different um uh scan codes the barcodes you're good to go so oh, i'm excited about this when i don't know i'll get to use it i don't know when all right so the other things i bought i bought one more of this i had one i have one there so i'm going to end up using this for um hopefully it'll be enough for my um crochet along with Lisa for the Zoomy Groomy book so let's see let's hope and then and the clearance section I passed it first and I decided let me go get what I really came for and then on the way back let's see if I still want to get so they had three of these um, woolies it was like $2.97 in gray this works great in the um, in the centro knitting machine so I'm going to make headbands because most of my headbands are um, the crochet ones are um, usually super bulky but for the ones I use the obviously the knitting machines um, it's worsted and I usually use like Karen Simply Soft or something like that but I like um, I had a dusty pink one last last year I had a random skein that I did and it came out really nice with this so there were three of these $2.97 a piece Woolies in the color Grey Heather. So I'll be doing that. When? Who knows? And of course, they had Woolies thick and quick there. So they had, I think this was the only one that they had. So I got four of these and it is Colorway Firecracker. So the color is probably being discontinued if it's on clearance. So I will, I got five of them. Because that's all they had. So I got all five. I think. Sorry, not sorry for the rustling. Because, you know, it means purchasing. That's the other. Um, that's the other. What do you call it? 
sparkly for the project. So yeah, nowhere to put them at all. That means I need to use stuff. But who has time to use the yarn? You just have time to buy it, right? Anyway, um, that's me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had today off because it's been a long couple of weeks and after the uh, weekend of week and weekend of birthdays and uh, graduation stuff, I needed a day. So, and I had an appointment. So I figured just roll it all into one and take the day off and have a me day. On that note, I'm going to go. Oh, I have a whip that I've been carrying around. I'm doing a uh, hearts, uh, bricks and hearts in number five. It's just been my carry around project and I'm getting nowhere because I keep forgetting. I'll put it down and I keep forgetting. It should have been done already, but oops. Oop, oop, oop. Almost lost a stitch. All right. On that note. Oh, this is a bag by Claudia Crochet Luna. Okay. Like I said, I have many bags. Bag by me. Bag by Ash Love Makes. She doesn't make bags anymore. She's way into um, uh, making shirts and the, the vinyl press and whatever that's called. That's what she does now. But that's one of hers. Yep. And I have a bag by Angelia down there. This was a bag by Angelia when she used to make bags. It's empty because I actually emptied it of a project. Go me. And this is one by me. I love this fabric. I got this fabric, I don't know where, I think by Hobby Lobby eons ago. And I just, I love, love it, love it, love it. So I made myself a bag. I think I have two, prog two bags in this. But anyway, I'm making a mess. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later. This is going to be really long. It shouldn't have been. But um, hopefully the winners of the patterns, Marsha, 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 you should be able to message me. Just so I know that you saw this, message me. Um, and then uh, Eileen. And if I don't hear from Eileen, then that will be it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. <sighs> Back to work tomorrow. It's gloomy, cloudy, raining on and off. But I'll talk to you guys later.